Hey guys, this is the first time I'm doing commentary, so hope you guys bear with me. And this battle, I actually just did it earlier today, and I wanted to show you guys how it went. So let's get to it. Funny thing, I actually found this guy on Shofu's Twitch page. So, yeah, I'm a big fan of Shofu. So he starts out with his Charizard, knowing that I have a Scizor. So I immediately switch to my Tyranitar. And he uses Heat Wave and barely makes a dent. She asked me he should have had Focus Blast on his Charizard. But he switches out and sends out his Aegislash. And I predicted that so I used Crunch. And it just destroys his life. So I think he was going to use King's Shield afterwards so I immediately switch out to my... I think it's my Volcarona. Yeah, my Volcarona. One mistake I made here was I didn't think he would use King Shield again, so I went for the fiery dance. I should have went for the quiver dance right here and sweeped his whole team. Oh, he switches out. Sends out his Greninja. He still, still does a bit of damage though. And I will switch to my Scizor, I think. Hopefully I'll get a U-turn on it. Actually no, I went for my Noiburn. Oh yeah, that's right. He uses Hydro Pump and it gets resisted. Barely does any damage. And I went for the Hurricane. I just love that skill. It looks absolutely amazing. And my Noivern is choice spec, so it does a bit of damage, but it's not actually quite strong because it only has 98 base special attack but it still gets the job done the speed is absolutely amazing so he goes for his mega Gardevoir and I should have went for a u-turn on this one but I was expecting him to stay in to see if he would use something else so I went for the sword stance so that was a waste so I switched back to my Tyranitar and he does the exact same thing again It switches out. He went back to his Aegis Slash. I actually thought the Aegis Slash was dead, so I didn't go for Crunch. So I switched back to my Volcarona. He uses King Shield again. This time I actually went for the um, Quiver Dance. This is the first time I've actually used my Volcarona in battle after I um, EV trained it and leveled it up. I've been working on getting my, my Sixes team 
and I'm still missing an Azu um, Azumarill is what you call it, I think. That's the last part of my team that I'm missing. Hopefully I'll get that by tomorrow. So yeah, he uses Shadow Sneak. That actually does more damage than I thought it would. And my Volcarona actually has max IVs. And he does have the uh, Life Orb. And I got lucky that the Sandstorm actually ended right there, but... At this point, I knew he was going to use Extreme Speed, but I'll just let him kill this one. So I went for my Noivern, hoping I could use Flamethrower on it. Switches to his Gengar. Still gets a bit of damage there because of choice specs, and the Gengar goes down. Which is back to his Mega Gardevoir. I can't really do anything about this. She actually has quite a bit of a special defense. Even with Choice Specs and my Hurricane, it only does about 70% to her. Which is back to his Charizard. I used U turn. This time I actually just went for my Noivern. Look at that, he just got destroyed by a hurricane. So here comes my Mega Scizor again. It's about my favorite Pokemon actually. Just look at those chainsaw hands. So he goes back to his Lucario and I already know he's going to use extreme speed so I just went to my Tyranitar. And here's why you should get a, um, a scarf for your Tyranitar. People always expect that Tyranitar is really slow, but once you get a Jolly Nature and a Scarf, it just totally catches people off guard. And look at that. He just gets destroyed by an Earthquake. So I just thought I'd use Earthquake on her and let her kill my Tyranitar. So I could use Bullet Punch on my Scizor. At this point, it's pretty much over. And she goes down. Feel bad for beating up a bride. Pokemon games are so violent. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys like it. Like and subscribe. Planning on making more of these, hopefully. Thanks.